Oi friends, Rin here. So today I want to show you guys an amazing clip that I had as Garner. Now this is the best rescue you guys will ever see, okay? Well, that depends. But the thing is that it changes the whole entire match around. And that is what I want to show you. You guys will want to watch till the very end. The thing about this is that many clips that I do show you, they aren't for wins. And the idea here is that you guys don't want to see a 5 Cypher guy every single time. That's just boring and repetitive. And you guys can find that anywhere. I want to show you guys where I'm in a difficult situation and I overcome these obstacles and still try my best. And that is what are unique about these gameplay. Anyways guys, I hope you guys do enjoy. Remember to leave that like, do subscribe if you guys have not already, and definitely do share with your friends. Enjoy. Okay, so before we get started on this match, I just want to say one thing, okay? This sculpture obliterated the team. Like, there's no way around it, okay? As funny as that sounds, it's the truth. Like, she she destroyed this team so fast. But anyways, let's get started on the match. So I wanted to do this cypher in the middle because I have a shield and I, you know, I'm kind of cocky on this kind of thing. But anyways, I saw a priestess come by, so I gave it to her because she can actually maneuver around the church really well compared to me where I don't have broken windows or anything where I can't outrun the hunter if they just pull up randomly but priestess on the other hand can but I saw a sculpture right there but I really want to do the cypher on that side because everybody's doing the same cypher on the same side so if the final cypher comes by you know then we're just gonna be at one side and then the hunter can camp it and I don't want that to happen but yeah she is going for priestess right here and let me tell you guys, this priestess, I mean, this sculpture did such an amazing job with her statue. Like, when I was watching this again, I was really surprised on how accurate her statues were. Like, I was wondering how a priestess went down so fast, but then I was watching the replay, I'm like, okay, damn, this, this sculpture is clean. Like, look at this predicted statue. Damn, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was so good. Now, the thing here is that Sculpture knew that Mercenary was doing the Cypher, so she, you know, pressure on the Cypher and cheered her here. And that was really good on her part. What I don't agree on is what Mercenary was doing, okay? He was just chilling here, just trying to dodge statues, not Cyphering, not saving. But the thing here is that, okay, you only have two options right here, okay? As a rescuer, you want Insta save. Because, you know, her kite was not the best, okay? So it's good to insta-save and make her kite elsewhere. So giving her still that chance, but getting her away from your cypher also, you know? If they don't do a good kite, you either insta-save or get away from your cypher and go start a new one far away. But he didn't do any of that, okay? He's just chilling at that cypher. He's uh, getting almost hit right there, actually. Because, you know, if Sculpture is just nitpicking on the hits on him, he'll eventually will get hit. Then he wasted a few pads, and that's not a good thing either. But the thing he did a good job on is saving, you know? He didn't get double hit or anything. He still pulled off a pretty good rescue, you know? He took the hit right there. He went to get the rescue. And the important thing about a rescuer is that they don't get double hit after rescuing. And he did get away, and that's a good thing. But did you guys see how accurate that sculpture was right there? Like, she pushed her away from the... Okay, watch this, guys. She pushed priestess away from the pallet that she was going to look at that guys oh my, the so clean so we're in a bad situation let's be honest guys really bad situation mercenary can no longer save priestess is dead on chair we still have three ciphers and you know not uh, not all the ciphers are even close to being done she did pressure mercenary right there it was actually a really good thing he pad away because he's only one statue away if he took the chance of getting hit by a statue right there it would have been over because she would have destroyed mercenary now you know unfortunately she did teleport to enchantress where there's no palace or window and none of the walls are broken that was actually very clever of her uh trying to hit her with the wall but you know good thing on enchantress part where she did dodge it but you know this was a really bad situation for enchantress she had to get hit right there and that's not the best but it does happen now Watch how accurate Sculpture hit her statue right here. She hit her twice. Damn, bro. Like, this Sculpture chose violence, okay? Like, I didn't know what to do at this point. Mercenary can't save. And I can save. That's fine. But we're not in the best situation, as you guys can see. She did pressure Mercenary right here again. Um, Mercenary did a good job, actually, right here on dodging the statue. 
because she actually had an upper hand right here but mercenary still pulled through and you know respect to mercenary right there i did use my shield right here to save because i was not gonna take you know i was not gonna test on her statues as we can see from earlier uh she did go for me i was like okay well that's interesting you know i thought she was gonna dedicate to enchantress but she doesn't but you know she was hitting me so so no one can no longer save okay she wanted to make sure that i cannot save again but i'm rin guys like come on i never give up it's my ninja way just because i'm injured you think i will i'm scared nah you're wrong i'm coming back for that mercenary now she does pressure she doesn't even pressure enchantress right here she just absolutely desecrated enchantress like oh my god oh my god okay this part guys this part right here this is the part i want to show you this is the best save that you guys will ever see okay i'm one statue hit away from going down not even a melee okay i'm one statue away from going down and i don't have broken windows I don't have any items that can help me besides my shield. And my shield didn't really help me here either because, you know, kind of screwed me over. Uh, but anyways, you guys will see this amazing rescue, okay? It turned the whole entire match around. It was amazing. Like, I don't even know how to say it. Like, watch. I try to activate my shield right here, but, you know, this sculpture is good. She broke it right away with her statue. Ooh, look at that juke. Okay, okay. Ooh, look at that juke again. Oh, that was so clean. Okay, now she's really dedicated to me. I'm like, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. So if I gotten hit right here, it would have been over. Enchantress is down, Mercenary is shared, and if I go down, we, well, the match is over. But boom, bamboozled. I bamboozled the sculpture to hit the chair. Now, that's not all, okay? She's dedicating to me. She wants me. I'm like, okay, I see you, I see you. Then boom, clapped in the face. You guys see all that? That was so clean. The rest of you made me so happy. And the Palestine actually helped us, and then I got baited. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that part, but yeah, that, the rescue was good. You guys gotta admit, the rescue and the Palestine really saved us right there. That was just a really good, um... Okay, okay, Enchantress didn't go down there, That that's good. But yeah, you guys gotta admit, that was really clean. That was, that was, mmm, presto. Now, her Cypher is primed right here about, she does teleport here. Enchantress luckily did have her stuns ready. They double popped the Cypher. Mercenary was going to go for the save, but you know, she, uh, he was spotted by the Sculpture and Sculpture didn't see uh, Enchantress go back to save me. So that was really good. Like she was like stalking Sculpture right here. Now I did get saved. Um, she did give up on Mercenary and did start going for me. And I was like, okay, well, my goal here now is to let them leave, okay? I'm not trying to kite for a win anymore. I'm just trying to stall long enough for Enchantress and Mercenary to leave. My one goal, okay? And, you know, I told her to focus on decoding me and get out of here, okay? I can try my best to stall. And she she didn't respect Pala. She just went through it. And, you know, she got me again. I was like, okay, well, damn. She did pressure this gate to force Enchantress to leave, but she no longer has teleport. She teleported on Enchantress earlier, so she has no teleport. She can no longer catch up to, you know, Enchantress at this rate. She has to chair me and then take that tie. And, you know, that, that was really good, you know. We got the tie from almost losing, actually. That was basically a loss. If I fail that save, that's an insta-lose right there. Most likely chance we would have surrender because, you know, Mercenary is on chair. I'm on the ground. Enchantress is on the ground. Even if she gets back up, Mercenary is dead. Then I get chaired. Then she has to look for dungeon, you know. That's... Yeah, it was a tie right here. But let me tell you guys, that save saved the whole entire match. And you guys can tell. If I fail that save, it's over. But luckily, I did pull that off. Now, that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Do not give up on your matches. Try your best till the very end. Like, all these amazing matches I have is because I try my best. You know, in a difficult situation, it's dire. And that's fine. But still try your best. But I hope you guys enjoyed that amazing rescue. I was very proud of myself. Pat on the back, Rin. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy and you guys love that rescue, remember to leave that like, do subscribe if you guys have not already, and definitely do share with your friends. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys all next time.